morning folks. So as you can see from that little bit of an intro there, we've emptied the water out of the uh, Maxi 310 chiller that we modified on yesterday's gargantuan video. And here it is, sat now underneath the gangway, if you like, uh, waiting, ready and waiting to be hooked up into the fermenter when we finally get some timber. We may get it today, it may be tomorrow, so I'm not holding my breath. And then this morning, I've just spent the past 35, 40 minutes uh, reconditioning one of these pumps and basically wiring up uh, the whole system in much the same way as we did the previous one yesterday. So all that leaves me to do now is to bridge out these two connections on the flow and return for the pump, put some water in here and turn the machine on to make sure that she's running. But don't worry, we're not gonna give you another 30 minute long video of what's going on with the maxi chillers. Instead, we'll just recap all the jobs that we're gonna tick off the list today as we get round to them. It's quarter past four folks and uh, We've got all of these units finished. The Evo 70 done. Two maxi chillers under here. And this bad boy. So we've actually got four chillers for five fermenters, which is good. But uh, like I say, I think I'm gonna run two of the, or three of the fermenters with the Evo 70. And we'll have one as a spare. So it's still hot in here. Look at the temp. 31 degrees, just sat in the, in the brewery. Uh, there's something I wanted to show you though. I just went to get some water out the tap, stay hydrated and all that jazz. Well, just check this out. Just check this out. See what temperature the water's coming out the tap at. I tell you, you could almost mash in at them temps, couldn't you? 35 degrees coming out. That's mainly because the water pipe runs up here and then it runs around the building. Can you see over there? So it's picking up all the heat up there near the roof. Absolutely sozzled me. And uh, Stuart's managed to bring back the timber for the tanks. I don't know, <sighs> quarter past four, really hot outside. Is it worth starting this now? I don't know, I don't know. But it's there anyway, 80 lengths. And then once they're cut in half, that should give us 160, which, if I can hold the camera still, sorry about the shaky camera work, should be able to give us enough timber to clad all these what uh, Own Brew Griff said look like woolly mammoth. There we go, the mammoth tanks. So yeah, I'll probably start them though. Just see how one of them looks. So I've been out and measured all the tanks up and the bodies of the tanks are approximately a meter tall. So what I've done here is set up a little stop on the table saw, which is uh, just there. You see it floating in midair but it's screwed to the workbench, so it's not gonna go anywhere. And then I can make all the cuts in one go. So we know we're gonna need probably 80% of this timber I'll cut. And the way I'm gonna do it is the way I was taught, you've gotta work smarter, not harder when you're doing things like this. So this saw, the back will accommodate five pieces of timber at once. So that's what we're gonna cut. Sorry, four pieces. So make sure that all of the pieces are up to the edge of the back stop and to your measuring stick. And then we can go ahead and we can cut four pieces of timber at a time without having to reach for another one. And then that cuts down the amount of time that you're spending doing any of these menial and repetitive jobs. 
Now once we've cut 80% of the timber, the reason we're not cutting 100% is because we might not need it all or we might need some longer lengths. So we're going to save 20% of the stock uh, for any odd shaped cuts that we need to use. But I know 80% of it is going to be used just on circumnavigating those tanks. And then once this is cut, then I'll set myself up with a drill and we'll go ahead and put all the pieces of matchboarding onto the tanks in one go. If there's anything that uh, needs attention, like any cuts or any more insulation needs adding, then we'll leave that particular tank and we'll start another tank and we'll go as far as possible with all the tanks and then we'll have got most of the match boarding on and you can come back and address all the little snagging list after the event but the idea is to stick to the job to get it done as fast as possible now you might think I'm a bit of a hypocrite saying this because as we've just discussed over the past week I've had about, about 10 different jobs on the go all at once but I know what jobs they are and this is my workspace if you're working on site for instance or you're in somebody's house or you're on a job then part of your reputation is how smart and how clean and tidy you can keep that workspace um, and that's something that I've learned through trial and error you know working on the tools back in the day and I really don't like having an untidy workspace here but it often happens because I'm so, uh, you know, I'm so much in a rush to get all these other jobs done. But I find that when the workspace is clean and tidy, I can definitely concentrate a lot better, which enables me to think about how I'm going to approach, approach a task. Which enables me to think about how I'm going to approach a task just like this one. my safety squints for that don't worry it is half past five folks I've started the cladding and well she looks bob on that book she looks bob on let's come to this side you see it a little bit better how's that so yeah I only got half a dozen pieces on but I've run into a problem my screws are too big so these are the 3.5 by 32. I should probably go with something closer to a 20 or a 25. So it's hitting the back of the tank and then pushing the wood forward slightly so I can't get them to countersink. So I'm gonna go and pick some of them up on the way home, folks, and then wrap it up for the day uh, because that's it. It's too warm to do anything. It absolutely is. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the plan is uh, just a short vlog today. We'll come in tomorrow, carry on doing what we're doing. Maybe by the weekend we'll have these tanks clad, and then wow, that certainly is a big job off the list. Oh, it looks like it's cooling down a touch. <laughs> right. Cheers, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.